Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen, my name is Saiken and today we're continuing our no short run where we're trying to beat the game on the highest difficulty with nothing but swords and sorcery. So no shots, no explosives, no secondary weapons, no heavy weapons whatsoever. We're pretty much in the endgame at this point, trying to prepare ourselves for the last chosen one with melee immunity, the hunter. But before we can do that today, it's time for Operation Little Heart as we're trying to sabotage a transmitter. It's supposed to be a difficult mission with only nine enemies, but something uh, just tells me that there might be a little bit more than meets the eye. I would bet that the Chosen will give us a nice little visit there. Let's take a look whom we're going to take for the mission. Mostly everyone is available, so let's get one Templar, three of our um, uh, three of our Rangers, and we're going to go with a few specialists. Sane here hasn't leveled up fully yet, and the other specialists are tired. Elsewise, I would take Sukuger on this mission, but it's probably not a good idea. Ah. Screw it, he has time uh, to recover when, uh, once he's shaken. Uh, that'll be fine. So let's make uh, some armor and weapons available and the utility items in our equipment. The bunny, the bunny. Fantastic, good. We're going in with the typical equipment, a lot of mine shields, quite a few mimic beacons actually. I think three will be enough. We don't need a fourth one. Instead, let's get that extra skull check going and that should be really it. Pretty solid team. We got all of the melee weapons right here. And we should probably not have a problem unless the Chosen's there, in which case we're going to do the mission and then just evac out. Fantastic. We just landed. Got a nice little uh, head start here on high ground. And we need to get to the transmitter over here. As always, timing is pretty sparse. Good. Let's just jump down. Same moves up. We see the first theoretical uh, option to to extend the timer. And let's let him stay there for now. On the move. Instead, we're moving up. I've got enemy movement here. Very good. We got a fully packed room. Not that I would have expected anything else, to I be honest, try. because that's the only room between us and and the actual target. So I was already assuming we would run into kind of a uh, fully packed room. Eyes on hostile patrol. Interesting. So one, two, three. That's three plus two plus two. Seven out of nine are in this room. It's another potential uh, patrol or pack right next to the actual objective. But yeah. Curious to know if that would trigger potentially. So we're going to uh, play it safe. No need to ask twice. And everybody moves up. Since I want to use the um, the school check in the next round against one of these guys, I'm just moving up even further. Moving out. That way we're setting up for enough movement to actually get to them so this uh, might as well just trigger We're visible here. well hello it hit the plate. Watch the plate. that's They're potentially moving. one of the worst stars that we could have hoped for it's an overwatch yeah figured as much and we got the entire enemy team mobilized. Fantastic. They would temper my faith. Yeah, that happened because here's 
kind of how the XCOM engine works. Uh, we can all agree that this was bullshit, but here's what happened. They run into um, this area. One person is non-flanked, therefore all three of the first pack get a small chance, I think 33%, uh, to essentially immediately act, and um, they can act uh, on any um, of our characters. So, the Stun Lancer did what any good Stun Lancer would do. He lanced. Well, isn't that fantastic? All right, let's try to deal with the situation here as well as we can. That's a kill without um, letting it explode, which is what I wanted. Notice just how I efficiently um, healed first. That's These are the little uh, things that can make or break a game. Um... Let's see, we still got three rounds uh, left, so that's fine. Who's going to be the Mimic Beacon guy is the question. Yeah, we can potentially let him become the Mimic Beacon guy. I'm wondering, by the way, it seems that Roby has two chosen weapons. Like, he has an axe and a sword. I don't know what kind of... Um, mistake that is but we have a throw axe here and we got a throw axe here that is absolutely 100 percent hilarious that's one of the most interesting bugs that i've seen how is that even possible all right so we're going to move up to potentially location. even triggering yet another pack the reason why I'm moving forward is he will not trigger Overwatch. We want to deal with the Overwatch. Alright, Overwatch is being dealt with. Can't charge all the way up there. Question is, what are we going to do with the rest here? I like to think that the Elite Trooper, if we're hitting it... Yep, the burning will kill it next turn. That was the plan. Good. And now let's give over a teamwork. This is going to be our um, action uh, to throw the Mimic Beacon. All right, that could be a hit. Why can't we reach... Oh, it's just too short. Okay, cool. I would like to get some focus. Uh, so let's wait until we're charging in. And we got advanced teamwork. So technically... We could move teamwork over. And do something here, but... That's not needed yet. We can do it next turn. In terms of being productive, let's try to kill, actually kill someone. Um, going for the officer here. That way, next turn, when he moves, we're going to get another attack. The Andromedon would be definitely be a good option. Let's move up. Further start to... Mm, are we going to do that? No, I do have a better idea. Let's hit the Andromedon and actually get it get it almost down or down. So throw the axe, the one that we have for whatever reason. Nice and critical hit, by the way. Good job. 
And then why not? Let's go for Reaper. Hit the Andromedon. That'll give us Implacable and further actions. Implacable allows us to technically traverse even more ground. Hopefully kill this guy. There we go. Good, we don't want to go for the shell yet. Shield bearer seems to be a pretty decent target. Trooper will die automatically, don't need that. Yeah, let's go for the shield bearer and set him up. Well, or just absolutely murder him. Reaper continues. We want to go there, not yet. Andromedon has too many hit points, but our blade storm would be killing it. Not the one from Roby alone, but it were effectively hitting it one more time, then this here would be a kill. I hope that the strike will destroy, the arc wave will destroy. Nope, it won't. Unfortunately missed. Still got momentum. Um, this year will almost be a certain, uh, certain kill. But the reason why I won't use momentum yet is we're going to first try to kill this guy. And if school mine for whatever reason does not work, which it... Uh, just so happened to do we're going to move in and that'll be some extra damage our mimic beacon does exactly what a mimic beacon is supposed to do attract everybody right there that's a kill that's why the elders want you back that should be another kill over here And that is a big fat problem. Better be careful. Kind of gives us a taste about what's uh, about to happen. We can't fight the uh, mechs that he's going to summon, but other than that, there's really not much we can do here. It's dangerous out here. All right. At least we resist the fear of the chosen. My biggest problem with him is he's just so mobile that he will eventually just get to our backline and start hitting people. Oh, I was forgetting um, she doesn't even have Bladestorm. It's the second time that I make the same mistake. Holy moly. Well, that stinks. The Mimic Beacon will be most likely killed now. Yeah, the suit still dies, uh, but we'll probably take some burning damage. No, we don't. I got it, right? Well, well. That was a bit suboptimal. I was actually hoping that we would get him down, but okay, whatever. It happens. Plan didn't fully work out as I was uh, planning it to work out. That's a nice little hit. Let's... Start hitting the officers. Big deal. You're a cold 
Okay, so he's over here. I think we're just going to move up. And we're going to use conceal and hopefully finish the the objective. Final. Moving up. And let's use Comet Protocol here. Solid damage. I'm not 100% sure if we will be able to kill him. Nope, 8 points is not enough. Again, moving up. Another combat protocol. I, I just want to make sure that when he explodes, only the Templar stands next to it, uh, to it because the Templar is immune to explosions. Alright, didn't even explode. Fair enough. Okay, so next up, Roby. Moves up, takes a kill. And that's sort of the end of the whole hide and seek game that we've uh, just done with uh, the three packs so we actually killed three of the packs in one go now the big problem that remains is the chosen will probably engage with us and potentially yeah summon and even take shots technically vault and so on could hit him And the reason why I'm charging forward is I want to give him a good target and to be honest the Templar is probably the best one that we do have. Diva is concealed. Begins to move. And I would like to move him completely out of sight. Next round we're going and opening the door. Roby moves okay. up. I know. Uh, we're concealing as well. It's probably not the cl most clever place because he could employ a grapple and just grapple up. Uh, so I'll just hide here. The reason why I'm using the hiding mechanic now is uh, we want to make sure that we're getting uh, out of line of sight and that he's just not having an advantage on us. All right, standing in full cover, that should be good enough. Trying to get a bit more timer here. As we had hoped, the network separation has been temporarily delayed. We're using an eight protocol, so that makes him a less attractive target. And we're going out of completely out of line of sight. I have a few friends by. I hope that's not a problem. All right, no, that's not a problem yet. I very much expected that he would grapple. And see, that's the problem. All of a sudden he's behind behind uh, our lines. Good, so right off the bat we can't reach them. This here, however, will be a hit. And the Bladestorm will be a kill. Alright, opening this here. In 
moving up. Good. Next turn we can hit the objective. In terms of dealing with those two clowns here. We can fully move up to here, into full cover. Let's see, would this here trigger Overwatch? Yeah, it would. That's a bit of a problem. Can move to here. Let's Comet Protocol this guy. We could also use the Comet Protocol as one of the few uh, ways of dealing damage to the Chosen. But then again, I'm wondering if that would really solve anything for us. We can't really kill him. He, his regeneration is just too strong. And the only damage that we do have is Comet Protocol and psionic uh, um, abilities from the Templar. And I already mentioned that that is probably not enough. Good. Can't even go uh, get through the armor. Let some would trigger untouchable, I think, so technically he should be untouchable. Yeah, that's going to be another hit, uh, another shot in, in the open. I could perspective. Yeah. Just hold still, off by a few inches. I'm not sure what the elders expect me to do with a planet full of their pet projects. I'm not looking All right. for a zoo. It's the same as always. I, I feel we had the same setup multiple times now where we just couldn't get rid of this guy. Planting the C4. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any we're before they planting and shortly afterwards we're like essentially Moving out. Oh wow, really? One short. Damn it, Saigon. Moving to here. Next turn we're going to uh, leave. I'm just going to stand in the open here with our Templar. Kind of in the hopes of motivating to, to take a shot. Moving out. If, if you say so. One, two, okay, three. Double time. Four. And that's pretty much it. End of turn. Wow, such a long range. Let's try something else. All reliable. You're All right. Than most. I'm ready and waiting. So go We're getting out of here. That will officially fail the mission, but we will still have countered the dark event. We will not have lost the area. So to a degree, it is kind of the theoric victory, the small victory. Good enough for what we're trying to do. We got everybody out. Yeah, we got everybody out and that's what counts.
Unfortunately, this guy hard counters us at this point. But once we got the psionic uh, uh, operatives, we are going to strike back. I can tell you that. Good. Guess who is back? Yep, the uh, the team. And guess who did not get a single promotion? Exactly, the team. But we also only got six and nine days of wounding. Hello, Commander. And we counted the dark event, which is all that counts here. Johnny Bravo got a fear. Let's put him right into the sick bay, removing that. And back to the strategic low. We still had a few days until uh, our new recruits started their training. You have to admit, that was a little ugly. How do you manage to convince these recruits to join after a mission like that? Wow, the hunter is giving us a hard time. Some smack talk after he like drove us away. Oh, wait a second until we are coming for your, for your stronghold. Tides are going to turn, my friend. Very good. Objective added. Commander, I've updated our current objectives based on the most recent findings. In the field, the codex got appears some more, as an anomalous form. Got in some an more shadow chamber projects right flux, there. Seemingly only present in our world for milliseconds at a time. However, New objective added. And that's a great option for us. Like we've got our work cut out for us, Commander. We've uh, that will be a chrysalid mission. In this region, Fantastic mission uh, for our team, since we got Blade Storm. Okay, and that is finally Dark Tarnoxus having all of the abilities ready. So whom else are we going to take? So who's the second guy? Who is going to be lucky enough to take a role? Which of the rookies? I think it's Ana Lucia Valdez, uh, one of our viewers' hats. And congratulations, you have just been selected to become the next Psy Operative. There you go. Good. Both of them. I hope that we're going to see really a lot of... Um, yeah, damage, uh, damage abilities, because that's what we need when we're going to fight the Chosen. Couple more uh, rookies that are being trained. Remember these uh, were the ones that we trained in order uh, to deal with the side trap that does not allow us to bring high level units. So yet another Ranger. So the low level team, so to speak, um, all sergeants, got a ranger, got another ranger, got another ranger and a specialist. Yes and yes, thank you. Yep, that looks, uh, that looks good. Shadow here might need the right color coding but other than that pretty okay so maybe we're not uh, doing another ranger maybe it like is better to get another specialist we've done it before and we didn't like what we found then either and then we're Builders training the final the, uh, the final so ranger good. afterwards good we got plenty of supplies there is actually no more need for that Yeah, let's scan for some intel, not that I think we will really need it at this point. But whatever, it's okay. The only thing that we're really needing is um, faster training for the Psy operatives. Unfortunately, you can only build like one Psy chamber, which is crazy if you think about it. And now let's hope that the Chosen will not gain his full bar. I need another month to deal with him. Okay, fantastic. It's time we finally had a look at this ship of yours up close. 
Good. That one here would not be a problem. It would actually make the missions a little bit uh, easier and probably more fun. That's also not a problem, so we're going to go for the hidden event. My people are up for some additional work if you've got any orders for us, Commander. Uh, let's take that additional XCOM soldier. Yeah, why not? It's as good as done. They are a moving mimic beacon, so I'm okay with it. New objective added. We got the next are, uh, mission available. Objectives based on the latest information. And just for shits and giggles, since currently there is not much going on, I think this is a good timing to be proactive and do one of uh, the missions. I'll decide what I want to do next. Um, potentially the black side data coordinates here, uh, just because I like that mission. Or uh, maybe we're, we're doing the Codex Brain coordinates so that we can build up the and upgrade the chamber. That's not a bad idea either. Yeah, we're probably going to start with that, because why not? Chrysalids only, codices, and of course, the big fat eyeball. That mission is going to be fun. And if my memory serves me right, we're going to find a Chosen here regardless. So, yep, the Hunter is there. So that's a pretty decent test for us to see if we can get, get down the Hunter in combat. Uh, this will be together with our Psy operatives. That way we can uh, test them in combat and also see how difficult it will be to uh, get the Chosen down. This brings us to, to the end of today's episode. A short one, short and uh, sweet. Uh, if you like the content, feel free to subscribe and uh, like the video. It helps the algorithm and the channel to grow. Um, and yeah, see you in the next run. Bye bye, guys.